Today, let's talk about how to improve blood circulation in the legs. Many people have leg swelling, especially after a surgery, or they have a heart or kidney problem, and they accumulate liquid in their legs and feet. Others have problems with varicose veins. So, if you know someone who has a problem of poor circulation in their feet and legs, send this video to them. I'll show them exercises to improve circulation and that will also help with pain and fatigue. So, let's talk about exercises to improve the blood circulation in legs today. But before we dive into the exercises, let's take a moment to understand why good circulation is so important and some common causes of leg swelling. Blood circulation is responsible for delivering oxygen and essential nutrients to our cells while removing waste products. When circulation isn't optimal, it can lead to a host of health issues, including leg swelling and accumulation of toxic substances and germs in the feet. Also, swelling can compress nerves, muscles and tendons, causing pain. The person tends to move less, become more sedentary, gain weight, and feel depressed. There are various reasons why you might experience leg swelling. The most common causes include number one, a heart or kidney conditions, certain medical conditions like heart failure and kidney disease can contribute to leg swelling. It is important to remember that managing swollen feet also involves treating the underlying cause. For example, if the swelling is due to a heart problem, it's essential to address that issue. This may include taking diuretics to reduce fluid retention and reducing salt intake, as advised by your healthcare provider. Two, pregnancy. Hormonal changes during pregnancy can cause fluid retention and swelling in the legs. Three, inactivity. A sedentary lifestyle can lead to poor circulation and consequently leg swelling. If you have a sedentary lifestyle, it's vital to break up those long periods of sitting. Simply getting up and moving around regularly, even if it's just for a few minutes can significantly improve your blood circulation. Fourth, venous insufficiency. When your veins have trouble returning the blood to the heart, it can lead to swelling. Fifth, some medications. It's important to note that some medications can have side effects of leg swelling. These medications may include pregabalin or some medications to treat high blood pressure. NSAIDs non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, steroids, and certain hormones like birth control pills. Now let's get to the good stuff, exercises that can help improve blood circulation in your legs. But remember, if you have deep vein thrombosis or other health concerns, consult with your healthcare provider before starting any exercise routine. I prepared this handout that you can download on my website. Here is a summary of the exercises routine that you can do at home. And these exercises are very easy and you don't need any special equipment most of the time. But if you wanna download, go to my website, www.drandreafurlan.com slash foot. So if you have a problem of poor circulation in your legs, and you have a tendency of swelling, accumulating fluids in your legs, both legs, because of the problems that we mentioned before, then I recommend some exercises. And those exercises are basically to move the muscles. So if you contract the muscles, the calf muscles on the back of your leg mainly, they work like a pump pumping those liquid back to your heart. Because what you need to do is, that liquid that accumulate in your feet and cause that swelling, it's usually because of gravity. You spend a lot of time with your feet down and then the fluid, the liquid accumulates there 
and the calf muscles mainly, all the muscles, but these muscles here are usually smaller and weaker, but the calf muscles are very, you see how big they are? They are bigger than the ones in the front. The calf muscles work like a pump. So if we, if you exercise the calf muscles a lot, the more you exercise them, the better it will be because they will pump the liquid back to your heart. So if you don't remember all these exercises, I created this handout that you can download on my website. I'll put a link in the description of this video below for you to download this, um, this handout. So then you remember everything that we are talking here, things that are important for you to improve circulation in your foot, uh, ankle, in your legs, reduce swelling, okay? So what is important for in terms of exercise, one exercise that I like a lot is very simple. You just raise, stretch your knee. So strengthen here, uh, stretch your knee here. And then you do um, ankle circles, like just doing this. If you just do ankle circles, I'll demonstrate here because it's easier for you to see, just circles and you can do clockwise or counterclockwise, doesn't matter. As long as you do, you can do both together. So this is excellent because when you are doing circles in the air with, remember, with your knees straight, you are moving all the muscles around here. You're moving the front ones, the side ones, and the back ones. So they are pumping the liquid up, okay? So you can do this many times. You can start, you know, with uh, one minute, count one minute, and then you can increase to two minutes, five minutes. And then when you are, you know, you know, watching TV, you are reading a book, you are watching a video, and then you can be doing this automatically. And then you will be pumping um, blood back to your heart. Okay, so that's the first exercise, ankle circles. The second exercise that you can also help for um, reducing swelling is usually helpful if you are working in a desk. So people who are sedentary, they spend a lot of hours in an office working on a computer or working on a machine. And then at the end of the day, their legs are swollen and tired and painful. So what you can do is calf raises. So if you just do this, you know, you will be contracting all your muscles and you can do raising your ankle and then raising the tip of your uh, the toes okay you do this you'll be contracting the muscles here at the front and you do this you will be contracting the muscles on the back so if you are in the computer and you can do this sometimes you know take a break if you can't go for a walk because going for a walk is the best thing if you can take a break and go for a walk that's best but sometimes, you know, you're just, uh, you know, between one meeting and another one and uh, you only have one minute and you don't have time to get up and walk. Just do this. Or, you know, sometimes automatically, if you condition yourself when you are in the chair that you do this many times because, again, you will be pumping blood back to your heart. And then it will help not for that blood, for the liquid, the, that water, that fluid will not accumulate in your legs. So this is a so simple, but a fantastic exercise to reduce leg swelling in your legs. So the other exercise that we recommend for people who have leg swelling, accumulation of liquids in their leg, is just do exercises raising your legs. So if you can do, for example, uh, bicycling in the air, if you raise your legs and just do circles of your ankles, if you just do exercises to, you know, open and close your knees, anything that you do that your legs are higher than the heart level. So my heart is here and my legs are here. So there is a a tendency for the fluid to come where gravity will pull the fluid. So now the fluid is coming down. So if you can, you can do this in your bed, if you have a mat like this, or lying on the floor, then if you have a tendency to accumulate liquid in your legs, 
you, if you do this a few times during the day, it can be one minute. A few times every day, like a morning, afternoon, evening, especially at the end of the day when the liquid starts accumulating. Just lie down, get your legs up, you can hold like this and then do some exercises like moving your ankles, circles, biking here in the air. This is excellent to reduce the swelling in your legs. Another fantastic exercise you can do, especially while watching TV or sitting in a chair, is the chair cycle. It's a simple yet effective way to get your legs, muscles moving and improve circulation. Just place a small pedal exerciser under your desk or in front of your chair and start pedaling away. I'll add a link to this mini exercise bike in the description of this video below. While exercises are great, here are a couple of more tips to further improve blood circulation and reduce leg swelling. The use of compression socks. Now, let's talk about compression stockings. While they can be incredibly helpful for managing leg swelling and improving circulation, there are a few things to keep in mind. First, they can be expensive so it's essential to consider your budget. They are made with stretchy fabric that snugs tightly around your legs. And these socks have to cover your whole foot, ankle and legs up to the knee. But you can find socks that come up to the thigh or waist levels too. A compression sleeve is just a tube that covers from the ankle to the knee but they're not very helpful because the fluid can accumulate below the ankle. These compression stockings work by pushing fluid back to your heart so it does not accumulate in the feet because the gravity pulls the liquid down. These stockings come in different pressures. You should feel snug but not painfully tight. The ones with low compression are usually enough to improve blood circulation. In people who have deep vein thrombosis, DVT, they may need higher pressures. When you buy your compression stockings, ask your doctor how much pressure you need. So low compression, usually less than 20 millimeters of mercury. Medium compression are 30 millimeters. And these are recommended for DVT or when the person is having severe pain caused by swelling. Moderate to high compression are 40 millimeters and are only used for severe cases of DVT or pain. A firm compression are 50 millimeters and we rarely use them. I recommend the person to put them on before they get out of bed in the morning. This is the time of the day that the legs and feet are less swollen and it is easier to put the stockings on before the liquid accumulates in the legs. Be careful not to roll or fold the top as this can create a ring and stop the circulation like a tourniquet. Avoid applying lotions or skin lubricants before you wear the stockings as this will make them slippery and they will keep rolling down. Secondly, some people find them challenging to put on, especially if they have mobility issues. If you struggle with this, there are devices and aids available that can make the process easier. There are some assistive uh, technology that can help you to put them on. This is a stocking donor. I'll put the link to this device in the description of this video below. Additionally, some individuals may find compression socks uncomfortable, especially in hot weather. They can feel a bit warm, and if this is the case for you, you might want to consider them wearing them during cooler times of the day or exploring some lighter weight compression options. It is essential to find what works best for your comfort and needs. Leg elevation. Another easy tip is leg elevation. Simply prop your legs up on pillows or footrest when sitting or lying down. This can reduce the gravitational pull on your blood, 
helping it circulate more effectively. Like this wedge pillow that you can adjust the height so you can choose the elevation you want. I'll put a link of how to purchase this elevation pillow in the description of this video below. Now remember, if you or someone you know is experiencing symptoms of leg swelling, it is essential to consult with a healthcare professional for a proper diagnosis and a personalized treatment plan. This video is not intended to provide you medical advice. It is for educational purposes only. If there is an emergency, please call an ambulance or go to the nearest emergency department.